Oh, hi there. Oh, I was just watching this Amazon Prime movie on an, on that app. Now, what choice do we have? We watch it on mobile. We can watch Amazon Prime on a tablet, right? What about a laptop? Yes, we have a laptop as well. So, but the best way to experience any movie or any TV show on Amazon Prime app would be on the TV, right? And unfortunately, most of the set of box and most of the Android or other smart TVs don't have Amazon Prime app. I got an Airtel internet set of box and it does not have Amazon Prime app and there seems to be no way to put on it. Or is there any way? Actually there is. I will show you in a bit. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay friends, the first step would be to open the browser of your choice. In this case, I am opening Google Chrome and I am searching for something called Aptoid TV app. So as you can see, it is showing me a lot of results. Let's go to Aptoid TV, the first link that is showing. It will take me to the official website of Aptoid TV. Now, why we are doing this is because this is an app store in itself. The app store that you get with Airtel Internet TV is Google Play Store which does not give us the app that we need. That is your Amazon Prime app, video app and other apps. So you are going to install this. Now it says install Aptoid TV. So we will do that. So we will click on this link. As soon as we click on this link, it will give us an option to download the file in a folder of our choice. I would suggest you go ahead and save this APK file and save it in the desktop for now. The file name would be Aptoid TV 3.2.5 or whatever the version, the latest one and .apk. Now you save this file on desktop and once you have saved this file on desktop, then go ahead and copy this file to your pen drive. Now once you copy this file to your pen drive, then all you need to do is take the pen drive and put it on the back of your Airtel Internet TV box. So I'll show you that in a bit. Okay, so I've stored the app that we just downloaded in this pen drive. So it's a simple pen drive and it's a very small app. You just put that behind the Airtel Internet TV. So we'll do that. Once that is done, I would actually recommend that you switch off your Intel Internet TV before you go ahead and put the pen drive. That would be the best way to do it. And then switch on your Airtel Internet TV. Then straight away, let's go to the mode where you can access the apps on your Airtel Internet TV or this can be any smart set of box or your smart TV interface where you access the apps. And then we need a file explorer. So for that, you need to go to your Google Play Store. So I'll go to Google Play Store. And once we have the Google Play Store. Now I want a file explorer. So I'll quickly go ahead and search for it. Let's search in the free apps first if you can get. Okay, here it is will not work at all I've already tried it so it's no use downloading it this one is not compatible will give you errors but then it does the job and we don't have a choice so for Airtel Internet TV we need to download this so I'll click on it and it says install so I'll install this then it says you need app permissions and all I'll say accept all the app permissions I am giving it now this File Explorer is very important or file manager or whatever you might like to call it is actually it lets you access the files that are there on your pen drive or are there in the internal memory or storage area of your Airtel Internet TV or any other smart set of box or any your smart TV. For other smart TVs I would recommend you can use the file explorer that works best for your smart TV or for your smart set of box. So you need not necessarily Download ES File Explorer but use any one that you want. Now it's installed. It says you can open it directly. So I'll not open it right now. There's another step we need to do. Then we will go ahead and access this app. It's downloaded as you can see here. So I'll go ahead and 
come back to the main interface now I'll go to settings now what we need to do here is we need to enable third party app installation so for that we'll go to security and restrictions so once I went to the settings I'll go into security and restrictions that is there in your personal tab and now I click on unknown sources this will be off by default so go ahead and switch the setting to on and once that is done just press back back and again back and then we are here in our apps now let's search for ES file explorer there it is so I'll click on ES file explorer now this might give you a few errors to use it uh, just press on wait time and again don't worry it will work so you not worry about it it might crash one or two times that's perfectly all right this is the first crash message we are getting it's not responding when to close it we'll say wait because we still need to access the file manager and we need to access the file that we have in the pen drive that is important so I said wait it's not responding close so we'll again say wait now here it is showing me the internal storage as well as the SD card we, we need the pen drive access so yes now it has now it is showing the USB 3 so as you can see the USB 3 is the third option press ok on this or back whatever if I go to left and let's see if I can access the USB 4004 I set open so here we have the app here so I went into the pen drive and the app is showing here so I click on this app type TV app now it says it's loading and it gives me an option to install now I'll scroll there and press install once I press install it will install just as any app that installs in your Android mobile so the process is same in my case I don't need to install it again because it's already installed but you can go ahead and do the needful once you have done this just come out of this ES file explorer press back 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 on your that is the remote that you have here this is the back button that I'm pressing again and again so okay so we have come back again you get an explorer error need not worry about it just press ok we don't want to use it anymore because we have installed the app that we wanted now once your app is installed go ahead and scroll to your Aptoid TV app click on it now your Aptoid TV app will start here this is an app store in itself it's a beautiful piece of software I would say because it gives you so many apps to access and use that were not there before on your Airtel internet TV or on any other smart set of box or any smart TV that you are using before it will give you a whole lot of apps that you can use so please bear in mind that Aptoid TV app would work with Android 6 and above so the set of box or any smart TV that you are using should have Android 6 and above that is what I recommend so while we can be mesmerized by the number of apps that we have here there are two apps in particular which I would recommend that you can install immediately first is the Amazon Prime app which is the reason why we are using this let's go ahead and search for the app so I'll go to the icon that is the topmost icon press search now I, here I should type in Amazon you have to type each letter unless you have a keyboard or something attached to your Airtel internet TV which will help you type faster or else you can go ahead and type each letter then we type in prime it's already showing the results amazon prime video here i'll need to type it so i'll quickly type it for you so let's search for amazon prime i think that should be enough it says amazon prime video amazon viewer and then you have your amazon video if you go below you can see some other apps amazon prime guide for amazon amazon underground this one and video prime none of them will work the only app that will work is this one which says Amazon video it shows three stars click on that this will work in your Airtel internet TV so I'm talking about that specifically if you have another smart set of box or smart TV you might 
try other apps. So in my case, it's already installed, but in your case, it will show as install option. Just install it in a similar way that you install a mobile app. So once you have installed it, it will show Amazon video. I'll click on that. So it's starting. Now it's saying sign in and start watching or register on Amazon app. No thanks, start browsing. So if you don't read to this page directly, don't worry, you will come to another page where it says start. You keep on clicking, nothing will work. Just press back, come out of the app, go into the app again, you will get this screen. Once you are on this screen where it says sign in, here simply put in your sign in details at Amazon email address or mobile number, password and then sign in. So all these tabs will work by scroll buttons that you have there on here I can show you. So the top, down, left, right and the OK everything will work from here. So you'll see a keyboard similar to this once you are entering your information. So once your account has been linked it will show you success your device is registered. Your Sony device is linked to your Amazon account. Now for some reason it recognizes Airtel internet TV setup box as a Sony device. You need not worry about this. Just press continue and proceed. Okay, so now we have successfully loaded our Amazon Prime video app. Now go ahead and enjoy the videos and all the TV shows and movies and kid shows whatever you like to watch. But one thing I would like to point out is you cannot download any stuff here. You can view it, stream it. You need to have very fast internet connection to view it at very high quality. So if I go to movies and here I can go ahead and if I scroll the featured movies, you can see all these movies here. So I'll play the Baywatch trailer for you to give you an idea about working of this app. So that was the trailer, I just wanted to show you that the app works. So there you have it guys, it's Amazon Prime video app in your full glory and you can go ahead and watch the movies of your choice and the TV shows that you would like to see. Now once we come out of this it will say exit the app so just press ok, we need to exit the app and I would like to tell you a few more things before we part ways on this video. Now go to Aptoy TV app store again and download a file explorer called explore. This one works fantastically. There are no compatibility issues as far as Airtel internet TV is concerned. It may work fine on other smart TVs as well. So they can go ahead and give it a shot. I found this a much cleaner and a better interface than your ES file explorer. Now you can go ahead and remove ES file explorer from Airtel internet TV. I'll show you in just a few steps on how to go ahead and uninstall an app. So go to settings. Now after you go to settings, you go to apps in the device tab. So here in the apps, we'll see all the downloaded apps. Go ahead and go to ES file explorer. We go there. Now before you press uninstall, go ahead and clear the data because that data is not going to be required. So we'll press OK. Now this data that's been cleared is for the app data. It's just the same way you do your in your mobile when you uninstall any app in an Android mobile especially. So press uninstall, then press OK. And yes, the app is uninstalled. It says uninstall finished. Now you go back. Similarly, you can uninstall whatever apps you want to uninstall. So this is a quick way to do that. Now go ahead and enjoy more apps that you find on Apple TV which are compatible. Some of them may require a mouse. So I would suggest you connect a mouse. A use mouse would work natively with Airtel Internet TV and if you have other mouses you can go ahead and give it a shot if it works fine. And try to use as many as apps as you can discover and use on Apple TV. Happy viewing and enjoy the new app store on your Airtel internet TV. So that's it guys. Do give me your feedback in comments, anything you would like to add which I forgot in this video. Thanks for watching my review.